The First Indochina War began in French Indochina on 19 December 1946 and lasted until 1 August 1954. Fighting between French forces and their Viet Minh opponents in the South dated from September 1945. The conflict pitted a range of forces, including the French Union's French Far East Expeditionary Corps, led by France and supported by Emperor Bao Thai's Vietnamese National Army against the Viet Minh, led by Ho Chi Minh and its People's Army of Vietnam led by Vo Nguyen Giap. Most of the fighting took place in Tonkin in northern Vietnam, although the conflict engulfed the entire country and also extended into the neighboring French Indochina protectorates of Laos and Cambodia. At the Potsdam Conference in July 1945, the combined chiefs of staff decided that Indochina south of latitude 16 degrees north was to be included in the Southeast Asia Command under British Admiral Mountbatten. Japanese forces located south of that line surrendered to him and those to the north surrendered to Generalissimo Chiang Kai-shek. In September 1945, Chinese forces entered Tonkin and a small British task force landed at Saigon. The Chinese accepted the Vietnamese government under Ho Chi Minh, created by resistance forces of the Viet Minh, then in power in Hanoi. The British refused to do likewise in Saigon, and deferred to the French there from the outset. Against the ostensible support of the Viet Minh by American as representatives, on VJ Day, September 2, Ho Chi Minh had proclaimed in Hanoi the establishment of the Democratic Republic of Vietnam. The drive ruled as the only civil government in all of Vietnam for a period of about 20 days after the abdication of Emperor Bao Thai, who had governed under Japanese rule and thus was considered by Viet Minh a Japanese puppet. On 23 September 1945, with the knowledge of the British commander in Saigon, French forces overthrew the local drive government. Ng declared French authority restored in Cochin, China. Guerrilla warfare began around Saigon immediately. The first few years of the war involved a low-level rural insurgency against French authority. However, after the Chinese communists reached the northern border of Vietnam in 1949, the conflict turned into a conventional war between two armies equipped with modern weapons supplied by the United States and the Soviet Union. French Union forces included colonial troops from the whole former empire, French professional troops and units of the French Foreign Legion. The use of metropolitan recruits was forbidden by the government to prevent the war from becoming even more unpopular at home. It was called the Dirty War by the leftist intellectuals in France. The strategy of pushing the Viet Minh into attacking a well-defended base in a remote part of the country at the end of their logistical trail was validated at the Battle of Nha San. However, this base was relatively weak by the lack of construction materials like concrete and steel, limited usefulness of armored tanks in a jungle environment, lack of strong air forces for air cover and carpet bombing and use of recruited foreign forces from other French colonies, caused by the unpopularity of this war in France which prescribed the use of regular French recruits. On the other hand, GIAP used efficient and novel tactics of direct fire artillery, convoy ambushes and amassed anti-aircraft guns to impede land or air supply deliveries together with a strategy based on recruiting a sizable regular army facilitated by wide popular support. A guerrilla warfare doctrine and instruction developed during China Revolution and the use of simple and reliable war material provided by the Soviet Union. This combination proved fatal for this base defenses, culminating in a decisive French defeat of the Battle of Dien Bien Phu at the International Geneva Conference on July 21. 1954 The new socialist French government in the Viet Minh made an agreement that was denounced by the government of Vietnam and by the United States. 
but which effectively gave the communists control of North Vietnam above the 17th parallel. Control of the North was given to the Viet Minh under Ho Chi Minh, and the South continued under Emperor Bao Thai. A year later, Bao Thai would be deposed by his prime minister, Go Thin Diem, creating the Republic of Vietnam. Soon an insurgency backed by the North developed against Diem's government. The conflict gradually escalated into the Vietnam War. Background Vietnam was absorbed into French Indochina in stages between 1858 and 1887 with European influence and education. Nationalism grew until World War II provided a break in French control. Early Vietnamese resistance centered on the intellectual fan boy Chow. Chow looked to Japan, which had modernized and was one of the few Asian nations to resist European colonization. With Prince C. U. N. T. H. Chow started two organizations in Japan, the Du Tan Hoi and Vietnam Kong Hien Hoi. Due to French pressure, Japan deported Fan Boy Chow to China. Witnessing Sun Yat-sen's 1911 nationalist revolution, Chow was inspired to commence the Vietnam Quang Phu Khoi movement in Guangzhou. From 1914 to 1917, he was imprisoned by Yuan Shikai's counter-revolutionary government. In 1925, he was captured by French agents in Shanghai and spirited to Vietnam. Due to his popularity, Chow was spared from execution and placed under house arrest until his death in 1940. In September 1940, shortly after Fan Boy Shou's death, Japan launched its invasion of French Indochina, mirroring its ally Germany's conquest of metropolitan France. Keeping the French colonial administration, the Japanese ruled from behind the scenes in a parallel of Vichy France. As far as Vietnamese nationalists were concerned, this was a double puppet government. Emperor Bao Thai collaborated with the Japanese, just as he had with the French, ensuring his lifestyle could continue. From October 1940 to May 1941, during the Franco-Thai War, the Vichy French in Indochina were involved with defending their colony in a border conflict which saw the forces of Thailand invade, while the Japanese sat on the sidelines. Thai military successes were limited to the Cambodian border area, and in January 1941 Vichy France's modern naval forces soundly defeated the inferior Thai naval forces in the Battle of Koh Chang. The war ended in May, with the French agreeing to minor territorial revisions which restored formerly Thai areas to Thailand. In March 1945, Japan launched the second French Indochina campaign and ousted the Vichy French and formally installed Emperor Bao Thai in the short-lived Empire of Vietnam. Japanese forces surrender on August 22, 1945. Os agents Archimedes Patty and Carlton B. Swift Jr. arrived in Hanoi on a mercy mission to liberate Allied POWs and were accompanied by Jean saint Denis, a French government official. The Japanese forces informally surrendered but being the only force capable of maintaining law and order, the Japanese Imperial Army remained in power while keeping French colonial troops and saint Denis detained. Japanese forces allowed the Viet Minh and other nationalist groups to take over public buildings and weapons without resistance, which began the August Revolution. After their defeat, the Japanese army gave weapons to the Viet Minh. Os officers met repeatedly with Ho Chi Minh and other Viet Minh officers during this period and on September 2, 1945, Ho Chi Minh declared independence from France for Vietnam. The Viet Minh had recruited more than 600 Japanese soldiers and given them roles to train or command Vietnamese soldiers. Ho Chi Minh claimed in a speech in September 1945 that due to a combination of ruthless Japanese exploitation and poor weather, a famine occurred in which approximately 2 million Vietnamese died. The Viet Minh arranged a relief effort in the north and won wide support there as a result.
American President Franklin D. Roosevelt and General Joseph Stilwell privately made it adamantly clear that the French were not to reacquire French Indochina after the war was over. Roosevelt offered Chiang Kai-shek to place all of Indochina under Chinese rule. Chiang Kai-shek supposedly replied, under no circumstances. Roosevelt died shortly thereafter and U.S. resistance to French rule weakened, eventually capitulating to intense pressure from Charles de Gaulle. In mid-September, 200,000 troops of the Chinese First Army arrived in what would become North Vietnam. They had been sent by Chiang Kai-shek under General Liu Han to accept the surrender of Japanese forces occupying that area which had been designated to Chiang Kai-shek under Supreme Commander for the Allied Powers General Order No. 1. The Chinese forces remained there until 1946 and initially kept the French colonial soldiers interned with the acquiescence of the Americans. The Chinese used the Vien QDTH, the Vietnamese branch of the Chinese Kuomintang, to increase their influence in Indochina and put pressure on their opponents. Chiang Kai-shek threatened the French with war in response to maneuvering by the French and Ho Chi Minh against each other, forcing them to come to a peace agreement and in February 1946 he also forced the French to surrender all of their concessions in China and renounce their extraterritorial privileges in exchange for withdrawing from northern Indochina and allowing French troops to reoccupy the region starting in March 1946. Ho Chi Minh was able to persuade Emperor Bao Tai to abdicate on August 25, 1945. Bao Tai was appointed supreme advisor to the new Viet Minh-led government in Hanoi, which asserted independence on September 2, deliberately borrowing from the Declaration of Independence of the United States of America. Ho Chi Minh proclaimed on September 2, We hold the truth that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, among them life liberty and the pursuit of happiness, with the fall of the short-lived Japanese colony of the Empire of Vietnam. The provisional government of the French Republic wanted to restore its colonial rule in French Indochina as the final step of the liberation of France. An armistice was signed between Japan and the United States on August 20. CEFEO Expeditionary Corps leader General Leclerc signed the armistice with Japan on board the US Missouri on behalf of France on September 2. On September 13, a Franco-British task force landed in Java, main island of the Dutch East Indies, and Saigon, capital of Cochin, China, both being occupied by the Japanese and ruled by Field Marshal Hisarichi Terauchi. Commander-in-Chief of Japan's Southern Expeditionary Army Group based in Saigon. Allied troops in Saigon were an airborne detachment. Two British companies of the Indian 20th Infantry Division and the French 5th Colonial Infantry Regiment, with British General Sir Douglas Gracie as Supreme Commander. The latter proclaimed martial law on September 21. The following night the Franco-British troops took control of Saigon. Almost immediately afterward, the Chinese government, as agreed to at the Potsdam Conference, occupied French Indochina as far south as the 16th parallel in order to supervise the disarming and repatriation of the Japanese army. This effectively ended Ho Chi Minh's nominal government in Hanoi. General Leclerc arrived in Saigon on October 9, with him was French Colonel Massu's march group. Leclerc's primary objectives were to restore public order in South Vietnam and to militarize Tonkin. Secondary objectives were to wait for French backup in view to take back Chinese-occupied Hanoi, then to negotiate with the Viet Minh officials. 